ओम ज्ञानतिमीरांधस्ञानाजनशलाकया चक्षुन्मील येना तस्म श्रीगुरव नम नम ओं विष्णुपादा कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति भक्तिवेदातस्वामीनामिने नमस्ते सारस्वते देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चात्यदेशिणे जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवासादी गौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुदीर In this session, we'll be discussing from the 26th verse of the 10th chapter of the first canto of Shri Mad Bhagavatam, continuing the prayers offered by the ladies of Astinapura. Not exactly prayers, but they are glorifying Krishna, and through their glorification, we can get to know. something about the transcendental personality of shri krishna aho alam shlagyatamam yadokulam aho alam punyatamam madhorvanam yadesh pumsam rushabhat shriyah patihi swajanmana chankramanena chanchati the meaning of this verse is oh how supremely glorified is the dynasty of king yadu and how virtuous is the land of mathura where the supreme supreme leader of all living beings the husband of the goddess of fortune has taken his birth and wandered in his childhood so this verse glorifies the uh, dynasty of king yadu yadu dynasty in which krishna appeared and also the place the land of mathura where krishna took birth and the vrindavan forest where krishna performed his childhood pastimes and who is Uh, krishna described as the supreme leader of all living beings nityo nityanam chetanas chetanana and he is also the husband of the goddess of fortune uh, he is uh, not a ordinary person he is not just another uh, personality of this world he is the transcendental personality of the of the spiritual world the supreme personality of god it in the purport shri la prabhupada explains this uh, uh, point that the yadu dynasty became glorified and the land of mathura and vrindavan became glorified by krishna's appearance and krishna's activities In the purport, Shri La Prabhupada says, in the Bhagavad Gita, the personality of God, Sri Krishna, has expressively given a description of his transcendental appearance, disappearance, and activities. Particularly in the fourth chapter, Krishna describes that even though he is unborn, he definitely does appear in this material world by his internal potency. All of us. in this material world we appear or we take birth by the force of the external energy the illusory energy of krishna but krishna appears by his internal potency spiritual potency so there is a very 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 big difference between krishna's appearance and our taking birth there's a big difference 
and therefore his uh, birth is specifically called appearance and his um, Krishna does not die hmm? so it's called disappearance when Krishna is out of our vision then it is described as disappearance and both of them are transcendental and even his activities are completely transcendental completely spiritual janma karma chame divyam evam yo veti tatvataha this is described by krishna in the fourth chapter of the bhagavad gita that is being cited by srila prabhupada in this purport further srila prabhupada says the lord appears in a particular family or place by his inconceivable potency that is his internal potency his spiritual potency his personal potency and it is inconceivable how that uh, in, uh, internal energy is working he does not take his birth as a conditioned soul quits his body and accepts another body conditioned soul this has been used a few times earlier conditioned means uh, completely under the control of the conditions of this material world imposed by the external energy and we are all spirit soul but our spiritual nature is covered by this conditioning of the material nature so we take birth after we quit one body we are forced to accept another material body krishna never accepts any material body krishna never comes in contact with the material energy this is the mystery how he appears to take birth like another human being but he is not taking birth ajopisan avyayatma avyayatma his transcendental form never deteriorates our form this form it is constantly changing it is constantly changing krishna's form never changes krishna is always in his transcendental form eternally the same supreme personality of god without any change in position without any change in his uh, uh, qualities without any change in his um, opulences he always is the supreme lord always is the owner enjoyer controller of all the opulences in existence so that unique position of krishna is unchanged therefore it is said here he does not take his birth like a conditioned soul his birth is like the appearance and disappearance of the sun shila proper is giving an example the sun which we can uh, relate with because we have experience of uh, seeing the sun rise and set every single day the sun arises on the eastern horizon but that does not mean that the eastern horizon is the parent of the sun is it that the sun is being generated out of the eastern horizon no sun exists even before it appears on the eastern horizon sun is existing in its position relative to our vision the sun becomes visible in the eastern horizon at a certain time and about 12 hours later the sun sets on the western horizon the sun is existent in every part of the solar system but he becomes visible at a scheduled time and so also becomes 
invisible at another scheduled time sunrise sunset becomes visible at sunrise and the sun becomes invisible at sunset so this is uh, they are very good example to help us understand similarly the lord appears in this universe like the sun and again leaves our sight at another time he exists at all times at every place krishna is present everywhere and always he is present but by his causeless mercy when he appears before us we take it for granted that he has taken his birth janma karma cha me divyam anyone who can understand this truth in terms of the statements of revealed scriptures certainly becomes liberated just after quitting the present body that is told by krishna in the bhagavad gita tyaktva deham punarjanmanaiti mameti sorjuna tyaktva deham when quitting the body the present body one who understands the truth in terms of the statements of the shastras the revealed scriptures such a person does not take his birth again in this material world instead uh, returns to krishna loka krishna's personal abode in the spiritual world liberation is obtainable after many births and after great endeavor in patience and perseverance in knowledge and renunciation generally liberation is not easy the scriptures describe liberation is after many 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 births millions of uh, lifetimes and that also after great endeavor what is that endeavor in cultivating spiritual knowledge and developing material detachment these two are very important factors for liberation but simply by knowing in truth about the lord's transcendental births and activities one can get liberation at once therefore the importance of hearing the glories of krishna's appearance and activities from the shrimad bhagavatam from the bhagavad gita of course bhagavatam contains much more details about uh, krishna's appearance and activities in his various incarnations especially in his uh, incarnation as krishna this is what is explained in the bhagavad gita so far what our prabhupada has said but those who are in the darkness of ignorance conclude that the lord's birth and activities in the material world are similar to those of ordinary living being atheists and materialistic persons they think krishna is just another uh, human being which is completely wrong such imperfect conclusions cannot give anyone liberation so they are unable to uh, get liberation by coming to such wrong conclusions his birth therefore in the family of king yadu as a son of king vasudeva and his transfer into the family of nanda maharaj in the land of mathura are all transcendental arrangements made by the internal potency of the lord the internal potency is working uh, to make this happen the fortunes of the yadu dynasty and that of the inhabitants of the land of mathura cannot be materially estimated how very very fortunate they are is simply by knowing the transcendental nature of birth and activities of lord krishna one can get liberation easily we can just imagine what is in store for those who actually enjoyed the company of the lord in person as a family member or as a neighbor krishna appeared and there were so many fortunate souls who were his uh, who were accompanying krishna in his leela 
in Mathura, in uh, the Yadu dynasty, in Vrindavan, very, very, very fortunate. So there is no doubt about their great fortune. And therefore, the ladies of Hastinapur are glorifying the Yadu dynasty and the land of Mathura. I will stop here. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna.